Welcome to day 9 of CRM Analytics Basics course. Today you are going to learn and implement some smart transformations. You will be implementing time series forecasting and implementing sentiment analysis. I have covered sentiment analysis in another video. The link to that video is found in the description of this video. All right, so we are going to use time series analysis to predict the gold price. All right, so this is on Kaggle.com. Again, the links will be available in the description of this video. I am going to download this and let's click download. All right, now the next step for me is to unzip this file and upload the data to your CRM analytics. All right, so I've finished downloading the data set on my computer. The next step for me is to upload that data set into the CRM analytics environment so that we can perform time series analysis. So first step, click on create. Second, click on data set, CSV file and drag and drop this file here and then click on next. You will have access to this file. Again, the link is in the description. So let's go and click on next. And it's a very simple file. Uh, let's quickly take a look at it. All it is doing is every month it's giving us the price of the gold. So first January 1990, $415. Uh, Second, you know, February 1990, it was $407 and so on. And that's all this file has. So I'm going to click on upload file. All right. And the data set has finished uploading to our CRM analytics environment. Now we are going to use recipes. So in order to get to recipes, I'm going to click on data manager and I am going to click on uh, recipes. I'm going to click on new recipes. And I'm going to add input data, choose this file and click on next. Next is we are going to apply transformation. This is where the smart functions like time series is available. There you go. So I'm going to click on time series forecasting and just answer these series of questions. So it says, hey, which column do you want to forecast? I want to forecast the USD column. So I'm going to go here and enter the USD column because I really want to know what is the price of the gold going forward. The next thing that I want to do is it's asking me what is the date for this time series. Now there's only one date here, right? The, the information is grouped by this particular day. So I'm going to go here and select date and I want it by year and month and I'm going to click on done. Now there's more options as well. So seasonality, I'm going to do auto uh, and Let's do forecast length of three months or four months. Okay. And then I'm going to click on apply. And now you will see some information here. So this is applying time series forecasting, which is by the way, uh, a machine learning, a very basic algorithm, statistical algorithm uh, that you can apply using clicks. Okay. All right. And this is by the way, very famous across industry. So when you say time series forecasting, most data scientists know what time series forecasting is. All right. Okay. So I'm going to scroll down, scroll down, scroll down, scroll down. Believe we have data until 2021. So there you go. The price here was what it's predicting based on this is the price of the gold in August 2021 is going to be 1830, right? So now I'm simply going to go to Google and just for fun, I'm going to see what was the price of August and see, you know, if we had run this model back in July in, in June of 2021, how accurate were we? Okay, so I'm going to go here and I'm going to search for price of gold August 2021. It was 17, sorry, uh, 1777.70, which is not, it's, it's not highly off, right? Uh, but yeah, I mean, like you see, it's, it's, I think it's 80, 90% accurate and there you go. It is that easy to create your time series forecasting. Now, the next step that you would typically do is you would create, uh, you would output this. You can, you can output this and register this data set so that you can show your time series analysis to your users so that they can see, you know, maybe sales forecast, uh, inventory forecast and so on. If you completed this video, take a picture, share it on social media and do not forget to tag me. Also, subscribe to my YouTube channel and follow me on Instagram. I'll see you tomorrow.